Welcome to 411carline.com. You can find us at 411carline.com. You can give us a call, set up an appointment, 952-540-9000. Um, please do give us a call to set up an appointment. We're open between 1030 and 6, Monday through Friday, 1030 to 3 on Saturdays. Um, we All of our vehicles have a full Carfax available. It's free on our website. It is at 411carline.com. Just click on the little Carfax icon next to the vehicle. It'll be, uh, say, Carfax Advantage dealer or Carfax One Owner, depending upon the vehicle. All of our vehicles are fully inspected by third-party mechanic shops prior to being put up on the internet. You're welcome to have it inspected as well. Another protection we offer is aftermarket warranties on any make, any miles, any model. Um, just ask us about that as well. You can purchase one on any vehicle that protects you in the long run. We have here a 2000. 14, I believe, on the Odyssey. It's an EXL leather, heated seats. This is a southern vehicle. Excuse the CrossFit gym in the background. Super obnoxious, but sorry if you're a CrossFitter. The dropping weights thing. I'm a weightlifter, and I don't know, dropping weights thing. Anywho, um, this uh, is pretty much as rust free as they come. It's from Florida, Georgia. Two owners, no accidents reported. Um, we'll walk around and look at the condition a little bit, look at the inside, engine bay, everything like that. Paints in above average condition for the year in the miles, has 98,000 miles on it. Paints pretty clean, doesn't really have a lot of uh, dings, scratches, that sort of stuff. Has a couple, you can see there's like a little scratch down here. Um, headlights need a little buffing yet, they're not completely done, but uh, wheels are nice and clean. Got brand new brakes, uh, looks like front brakes, I can't remember, did we do rears too? Rears look new-ish, um, fronts are brand new. Continental all-season tires on it, they look like they're almost brand new, or relatively recent. We didn't put them on, but tread depth is excellent on them, I'll show you here. It's easier to show you in the back. We'll keep walking around here. It's got the moonroof. It has a light, because it's a southern vehicle, it has a light tint film. Um, looks like it's about probably 50% or so, which is legal in Minnesota. Very nice. Very bright out today. By the way, I'm Chris. Work at 411 Car Line here. We're family owned and operated my dad, my mom, my brother, and myself, so technically the general manager, but we do all things. This wheel's pretty nice and clean. There you can see that tread depth. So yeah, pretty clean. There's uh, a little bit of uh, stress fracturing on this bumper right here, along with a little bit of touch-up. Um, I'm guessing they brushed up against something. It's got a little bit of uh, that clip needs to be replaced there, so it doesn't look like an accident by any means, probably like a garage or parking lot or something like that. A couple little uh, nicks here and there. There's a little touch up here and a little touch up there. This wheel's nice and clean too. There is like two little, oh, that's something on the wheel, as is that. Not sure what that is. Something detailed in clean off. There's a couple, there's a little chip on the driver's door handle, or a little chip on this one. Not a perfect car, but this one's pretty clean. All right, I'm gonna show you the underside here. Like I said, it's pretty much rust-free. Florida, Georgia car. Looks pretty nice. And here, kind of like a gray tan leather. It's not quite tan, but it's not quite gray. Power doors, you just pull on the handle like that. Otherwise, there's buttons for it too. Interior is pretty clean. Um, looks like it probably was owned by a family. It's not perfect by any means. A couple little spots here and there. See a little spot there. It does have the center jumper seat, so this one is an eight passenger.
back seat looks pretty good. Um, this one does have the climate control. Uh, climate control back here. So the kids or whomever is sitting back here, passengers can control it. Carpet's pretty nice. I don't know if this is, a, if you can open this with the uh, center console in there, but. Nope, probably not, so. Not gonna try and do that one handed. There's a button on the inside here. Closes the door. Man, my phone is having some issues focusing, isn't it? Power gate, you just push the little button under the hatch there. There's also a button here to close it. These are stow and go. I'll just show you this this one. Pull on this. It folds forward. I did this like without even thinking before. What did I pull on to pull it back? Oh no, these ones you do pull back with this. I just did it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you just pull on this one. It's a single motion. So you just pull on this. Boom. Stow and go. There was a little spot. It almost looks like wax or something, or like a, maybe a melted something. But must not come off that detail, so. Probably had kids. It's a van, so. Exteriors in above average condition, interiors in average condition for a van. Maybe a little above average. Some va vans are pretty. We've gotten some trades recently that were uh, pretty rough as far as cleanliness. It's pretty good. Carpet is in decent shape in the back here. Anywhere you'd usually see rust kind of in these areas. You don't, you don't see it on this one. Ah, uh, this one does have the shades too. <coughs> you can put these up like that. Also, looks like they might have them back there. Or maybe that's just a coat hook, I'm not sure. Probably just a coat hook. Something along those lines. I don't know. Have to do a little research on that. Uh, this one does have comfort access, keyless entry and exit. Show you the underside here. Comfort access, this locks it. Come on, focus. Focus. That locks it. And then just pull on, there, there's a touch sensor on the inside of the handle here. So, lock. The keys are in my pocket, of course. And then you just touch the inside of the door handle here, and it opens. Driver's seat has like a tiny bit of bolster wear, but or uh, side bolster wear, but not a huge deal. It's pretty common in Hondas and stuff of this generation. Um, there's like a little bit of missing uh, material right there. It's not uncommon. It's hard to patch because it's so thin. We have interior guys, um, but it's hard to patch because it's just thin material and it's hard to get anything to bond to it. Get the AC going again, it's kind of warm. So this one does have comfort act, or excuse me, uh, home link garage door opener. Which are these three buttons here. Moonroof operates as it should, auto dimming near, that's what these little lights are here. This one has dual automatic climate control, so you can tr control either side of the uh, cabin here. Um, 
Let's see what else. Mirror defrost is important. Heated seats is imp are important. Um, it does have Bluetooth. You can connect your phone. Um, audio menu. Yeah, so kind of a nice little uh, head unit design here. This one does not have navigation. I thought it did. I'm going to try and take it off the description, but we'll see if it actually works. Uh, it does have a backup camera. Nice big clear screen. Also has a uh, turn signal camera. So when you turn on the right turn signal, you can see it right next to the car. It's a safety thing. Lane change so that you can see people. It's a blind spot camera, so it's pretty nice. Uh, this one does have USB here, and it has AUGs down here. Uh, it is push button start. The keys are in my pocket right now. Um, keys have the uh, keys have the doors and everything on them too. Uh, this does have a cool box, which is in here. I turned it on a little bit ago. It is cool, literally and figuratively. Uh, there is a little like something. Uh, it almost looks like maybe blue. character I guess. Um, on the steering wheel here you have this thing would focus. I need I think I need to get a new phone. Uh, you have uh, steering wheel mounted uh, audio controls or excuse me hands-free Bluetooth controls, audio controls, uh, cruise control. Miles are 98 334. No lights on the dash, of course, fully inspected. Oil was just changed as well. Power doors here. Power windows. All work as they should. Power mirrors also work as they should. Not sure what LDW stands for. That's a new one to me. All right, we'll hop out, take a look at the engine bay here. Video's getting a little long. It's yelling at me because I have keys in the my pocket. Super clean under here. You can tell it's a southern car because it's looking like the screws, the pulse clamps. There's no rust on anything. Usually on any other car that you see, you see like surface rust. My phone also picks up the small engine noise, the ticking and stuff from the belt train, so you don't do that usually with the human view that's loud. But yeah, look at the bolts. That always just amazes me. Super cool. I do have a locker here for the door cap coming. I forgot to order that when I was going through inspection, so. So that's the Honda Odyssey. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call, 952-540-9000, set up an appointment, um, or ask any questions. You can find the free car facts at 411carline.com. Thank you, have a great day.